dear students, uh, very good morning. Uh, today we are going to discuss about a case study in digital electronics. Okay. So what case study we are going to discuss means, uh, today we are going to uh, develop a digital alarm clock based on design thinking concept. Okay. So we are studying digital electronics course. By using digital electronics, we are going to implement a, a digital alarm clock. Okay. Uh, you know digital alarm clock. Okay. So we are going to then develop a digital alarm clock based on design thinking concept. Okay. So already you know what is design thinking. Okay. So what is mean by design thinking? It is a user-centric approach. Okay. So why we are going to design thinking? Mainly for what purpose? Very good. To solve real-time problems. Okay. So maximum we are going to use this design thinking approach to solve the industrial problems. Okay. So we have 7 plus 7 verticals. 7 industrial first area and 7 industrial verticals we are using. Okay. Currently we are using what? Artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, data science we are currently using. Okay. So in digital alarm club, how this design thinking is used? We are going to analyze now. Okay. So what is the first step in design thinking? Okay. Empathy. Okay. So now what is our concept means? What is our project? Digital Digital alarm clock. So, what will be the empathy? Anyone? So, yes. The empathy of this project is all about first we should empathize the user users uh, users concept. Right? So, uh, by interviewing the users, they are uh, they are uh, listing the few criteria which they base based as a problem. The first criteria, uh, criteria is visibility. Um, as the users are considering the small screen as a big problem to set the alarm in a particular, uh, in their convenient way. The next problem is accessibility. Uh, some people may be in the impairment problems like uh, uh, people with some disabilities. They can't handle the uh, clock uh, because they have some small keypads. Then the last criteria is all about uh, complexity. Some users uh, may uh, unaware un un about the uh, futures of the uh, alarm clock. So these are the empathy part of this project. Good. So what we have to do in empathy, we have to analyze the user pain points. So for developing digital alarm clock, we have to analyze the uh, visibility and accessibility of the digital clock, digital alarm clock. Okay, currently what is the procedures are going on? What we have to overcome that difficult difficulty. Okay, yes. So now we analyze the these are the empathy uh, in digital alarm club developing methodologies. What is the next step? Define. Okay. So what are, what is mean by design in design thinking? These are the problems in uh, designing digital alarm club. Okay. So what problem we have to focus majorly? That is the defined part. Okay. Anyone? Let's explain our So based on the love mark, please. Let me explain the defined part one. Okay. So based on the interface, uh, we have some uh, four problems here. Like uh, user interface complexity, which means uh, user uh, has an initiative way to set alarms and uh, adjust alarms. Right? And second one is a uh, display visibility. The screen should be clear and easy in uh, any uh, lighting condition. Right? The third one is accessibility. The design must be cater and uh, used with the different uh, abilities. Right? And fourth one is uh, custom customized alarm sounds. Right? And user user has uh, some preference to set alarms and uh, adjust alarms. Very good. So we have to define these problems. Okay. So what is the next step we will take? First we empathize, uh, empathize the concept, after that we define these are the major problems. The third step is in design thinking, ideate. In ideate part, what we have to do means, we have to gather all the solutions. In all, first we have to gather all the solutions are available to design a digital alarm clock. Okay. 
in that we have to choose the best solution that is the ideal path ideal path okay so just uh, focus on that which one is the best solution anyone anyway? traditional uh, care, traditional things now yes. so to in improve the uh, input and navigation okay. and secondly uh, high and large contrast display so in this one uh, this can improve the readability yeah. and then uh, uh, co commercial things now like uh, we they provide a range of uh, alarm sounds and we can also the user user are allowed to uh, make their own voice Uh, voices in the alarm clock, huh? which will make um, which will be advantages for them also, and to wake up at the right time, and uh, and it provides a range of uh, sounds uh, where uh, uh, the people with uh, sound impairments can get a vibrant sound, huh? which will have this haptic feedback. Haptic feedback. Haptic feedback. Haptic feedback. Haptic feedback. So that they yes. can be they be advantages for them. Too. Good, good, great idea. Good. So next one is the prototype. So, for prototype uh, of digital alarm clock, what is your opinion, Asma? Ma'am, in this prototype, uh, they have a touch screen uh, interface. Uh, uh, it have a alarm settings and navigations, uh, and the LED display is a a a five five inches of the big screen of LED display. They can be clearly notified, and the voice commands in the ma'am. Uh, Uh, that like uh, Amazon, Alexa, and uh, Google Assistant, uh, these are the voice. And the variable sound they affect you. We can be replaced it in a uh, MP3 sounds clearly, ma'am. Good. So we can use this methodology to develop the alarm clock. Okay. After implementing, the final step is testing. Testing is very very important. Uh, suppose we develop the product, we we have to test. Okay. That's only. Uh, We can increase the efficiency of the product. Okay, yes. In testing part, there we have to. Call Thank you.